Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, y'all, so we finally have a sports story, okay? Y'all know I love my little sports stories. We get them every now and then. So what's going down is that once again, Jason Whitlock's ass is coming for LeBron James. So what went down is that over the weekend, this video went viral of LeBron basically celebrating and being over the top at Bronny's game, okay? He went so crazy over Bronny and his teammates that he ended up losing his shoe. So this entire situation is crazy. Y'all go ahead and check out this video, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Well, basketball now, LeBron James has come under fire recently for his behavior on his son's AAU game. LeBron ran onto the court to celebrate an alley-oop in which he lost his shoe in the process. He got in on the dunk line. He had some fun with everyone, posed for some pictures afterwards. Nick, what was your reaction to a little bit of the heat that LeBron took yesterday for all of this? All right, so you guys just saw that video. So, of course, Jason Woodlock definitely had something to say. As we all know, he's not a big fan of LeBron James, and he's saying that LeBron is doing too much. You know what I'm saying? He needs to go sit down somewhere. He's taking attention from the team. He's making about himself. He went on a huge rant, okay? Y'all go ahead and check out some of this rant. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Mm. Oh, oh, never mind. You, you get my point. LeBron James isn't the first, nor will he be the last, sports dad to make himself the focus of his child's burgeoning athletic career. As money is poured into professional sports, so have the Marv Marinoviches and the LeVar Balls, super dads anxious to groom their son's skills and bask in the glory of their success. This weekend, new footage emerged of LeBron performing his super dad routine at LeBron Jr.'s AAU game. LeBron joined his son in the pregame layup line, executing an assortment of dunks. Once play got underway, LeBron celebrated wildly on the sideline and on the court. This is all pretty much standard operating procedure for LeBron at his son's games. I'm sure someone has convinced LeBron that the subsequent viral videos are a good thing. In his mind, LeBron is making fatherhood cool and fun again. I disagree. LeBron is making a spectacle of himself, a circus of his son's early playing days, and using his son's game as yet another platform to build the LeBron social media brand. It's inappropriate. It points to how much fame has inevitably changed LeBron over the past decade. Fame is a drug more potent and dangerous than cocaine. Mm. LeBron is a fame and social media junkie. He moved to Los Angeles looking for a better high. In recent years, people have accused me of being a LeBron James hater. They say I've changed, that I used to defend James and his associates Maverick Carter and Rich Paul. I haven't changed. LeBron has. His annex at his son's AAU games illustrate my point. In 2008, in the second round of the playoffs, Boston Celtics forward Paul Pierce wrapped up James and tussled with him underneath the basket. LeBron James' mother stood up and started yelling at Paul Pierce. LeBron told his mother, sit your ass down. Some in the media criticized LeBron for speaking harshly to his mother. I defended LeBron. I applauded him for stopping his mother from making herself a spectacle during his game. Gloria James needed to control herself and conduct herself with a dignity that placed LeBron in the proper light. That's what parents, no matter how famous, should do. They should not allow their thirst for fame to distract from or exaggerate their child's performance. LeBron needs to follow the advice he gave his mom a decade ago. Sit your ass down. Honey. All right, so you guys just saw what Jason Whitlock's ass had to say. So um, one of LeBron's team members, they were not feeling it. Kyle Kuzma had something to say, and this is what he had to say. Go ahead and check this out. So Kyle Kuzma says, it be your own people. So that's what he had to say about the situation, and this is my opinion on it, because I see a lot of folks talking, and they're saying, you know, LeBron is doing too much. He's just trying to bring more attention to his kids. He's an attention whore. And to me, y'all got to realize this. LeBron James grew up in a household with his single mother. He has no idea who his father is, okay? We done heard everybody from the damn local drug dealer to him being an Illuminati experiment. He doesn't know who his father is. And one of the promises that he made to himself when Savannah got pregnant, when they were teenagers, that he would always be in his children's lives no matter what. And LeBron has done that, okay? This man is a 35-year-old father of three. Two boys and a little girl named Zuri who's just adorable, okay? Beautiful little girl, head full of damn hair, all natural. Anyways, 
He has some beautiful kids, beautiful family. Like I tell y'all, one of the only basketball wives I follow is Savannah. I love the Jameses. I love their family. I love their family dynamic. I love when they do damn Taco Tuesday. I be over there watching and shit, getting hungry because I don't eat beef. You know what I mean? How do you guys love my t-shirt? It's Tuesday somewhere. So you know what that means? It's Taco Tuesday! Dior, what is it today? Taco Tuesday. Bryce, what is it? Taco Tuesday. Savannah, what is it? Oh, 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 oh. It's Taco Tuesday. Why are you so cold? We got new people here for Taco. What is it? Taco Tuesday. You think you're out of it, Ronnie? What is it? Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Hey guys, I, I know it's a uh, pretty good. down night right now. Psych! Because it's Taco Tuesday! What is it, Z? Taco Tuesday! Bryce, what is it? Taco Tuesday! What is it? <laughs> Ronnie, what is it? Taco Tuesday! It's Taco Tuesday! But he has so much fun with his family. He posts his videos all the time with his daughter, showing her drawings and all types of stuff. How do you knock a man for being a father? How do you knock a man for doing the right thing? You got half these dudes in the NBA out here knocking up this chick and that chick. They got a baby over here, got a baby over there. When you think of an NBA player with a lot of kids, well, probably someone like Dwight Howard or Sean Kemp. And yeah, you're right. Kemp reportedly has seven children with six different women, while Howard has somewhere between five to eight kids, according to different accounts. We're not sure. But these two guys can't even compare to this player who has 14 children with nine different women. And his name is Calvin Murphy. All of LeBron James's kids all have the same mother. They all live in the same household. He's been there from day one with these children. If he wants to celebrate his son's accomplishment and do backflips and twerk and dance and, and do all types of goofy shit, he has every right to because guess what? He's always there for not just Bronny, okay? Because my kids are very much into sports, so I see all these little highlights and shit all through my house. Not just Bronny, but for all the kids on the team. LeBron has done a lot for not only his son's AAU team, but he's also built that school about two years ago. He's done a lot of things for the kids on the team. He's been like a father figure to them. Some of the kids say that, you know, LeBron James texts them. They have group chats. He doesn't act Hollywood. So, I mean, I understand his reaction might have been over the top. You know, he done ran out there, lost his shoe, all behind a damn alley-oop. But at the end of the day, he's a proud father. And I'd rather have him be there there acting a fool and being you know celebratory towards his child than him being not there at all imagine how many football and basketball games that lebron played as a child only to look into the stand and there's no father there to clap or cheer him on so he's making up for lost time he's making sure his kids whenever they look into the crowd they're going to see their father and he's going to be one of their biggest cheerleaders if you can't be allowed to cheer on your children who else will cheer them on and at the end of the day, he's not overbearing or over the top like LeVar Ball. Let's get right into it, okay? First things first, the Lakers, because they traded your son. Yes. Career nine point, career ten point per game scorer. Yes. Average nine points last yes. year. Shooting 40% from the field, 32% from three-point range. That dude, because the Los Angeles Lakers don't have him, they'll never win a championship again. Explain never, yourself. Never, the floor is yours. Ever, ever. Explain it. I told you, they let... Go with the best thing they had going for them. No. I told them, if you get the ball, boys, you can survive this. Now you can't. But like I said before, these suckers, I'm playing chess. Y'all playing checkers. The best way to get Lonzo out of L.A. is I said, you know what? I don't like New Orleans. I don't like New Orleans. Lonzo ain't going nowhere. He the best in the world. L.A. Lakers ain't going to never let him go. First thing they do, exactly what I want to do, let him go. Because it's raggedy over there. Let him have his moment with his son. Let him have the moment with the AAU team. Jason Whitlock is just looking for a reason to hate on LeBron James once a damn again, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. 
Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning LeBron James and Jason Woodlock being upset at him, saying that he was doing too much, he needs to sit down somewhere. Do you feel like LeBron James was being over the top and he shouldn't have did that at his son's game? Or do you feel like, you know what, what does it matter? Let him, you know, enjoy his time with his child. Let him enjoy, you know, praising his son and being congratulatory. At least he's there in his child's life. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.